Well, here we are once again ahead at Cheltenham and a man who has plenty to look forward to going into the festival this year is owner Barry Connell. Well, Barry, Gwensilly Burbass is one of your hopes for Cheltenham. It's, a, it's such a highly anticipated meeting and this horse, he did really well at Fairy House. That was very encouraging for you to go into Cheltenham for. Yeah, he's a horse we, we haven't had that long. Um, I think we got him in October and um, like a lot of the horses that come from France, they need a bit of a break so we, we left him off for a couple of months. Um, I think we only have him back in about five weeks and uh, we were pleasantly surprised that he was as forward as he was in the, in the race the other day so I think he, he's certainly going to improve for the run. He's obviously taken to Irish life very well. We see him happily having had a role in the mud there. You say he only came in October. He's a national hunt bred horse. He's by nickname. Um, he started off in three-year-old hurls over there. I think they gave him a run on the flat. Um, and then he was third and he won his, won his maiden. Um, he was quite highly rated over there. Well, he won't be going alone in your colours. You've got several other entries with, with mm. multiple entries, including the Tullow Tank, who who could have options. Do you, do you know which option you'll be taking for him? Yeah, I think he's he, he had an entry in, in the Novice Handicap, but um, he's he's not, he's going to be rated too high, so I think he's going to go for the JLT, the two and a half mile race. Well, Martello Tower, is he one likely to be joining your team at Cheltenham? Yeah, he'd be probably the pick of, of, of mine going over there. His form was very solid. He, um, he won two grade twos um, and he was uh, second in a, in a grade one, giving um, four pounds away to um, Outlander, who's one of the, the favorites for the, uh, the Neptune. Um, I think if there was ever a horse designed for Cheltenham, it was him, he's, he, he's very tough. Um, he's very resolute, he'll handle good ground and, and he'll handle the hill. It sounds um, like he's done everything you've asked yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 he's not a flashy horse. He'll only ever win by a half a length or a neck. Um, but oftentimes those horses are, are the ones that the ones to keep a bit for themselves. Um, you know, they last longer and they're, 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 um, they're more resolute. Velvet Maker, yeah. Um, yeah, he, he, uh, he won his maiden in Fairy House by 20 lengths, I think. Um, um, he got beat first time out this year, pulled quite hard, but he's um, he's just coming along. I think he's one that will come in under the radar there. He's, he's, um, he's a horse that jumps very well. Again, he'll handle nice ground and uh, he's going to be a, a lively outsider in the Supreme. And you said he pulled a bit, his maturity starting to settle him a little. Yeah, he's just um, a bit more racing, I think. He's probably a bit fresh first time out this year. Um, we put a hood on him as well and he's settling better with that. And Fox Rock, he's a horse that continually acquits himself extremely well at the top level. Yeah, I mean, he operated um, well last year in graded level. He won, he won two grade twos and he was third in the grade one at Leopardstown to Carlingford Lock, beaten eight lengths last year. And um, we uh, targeted him at some of the big handicaps this year. He, he was second in the Paddy Power and then he won the Leopardstown Chase. And his, his um, rate of progression has been... Um, it's been fairly amazing this year um, from run to run. Um, he's gone up, I think, about 20 pounds in the handicap. Um, he's now rated 162 or 163. I think there's only a couple of two or three horses rated higher than him in the country now. So um, we have, he's not in the Gold Cup. We have the option to supplement him um, uh, on the 7th of March, which is the Friday before. Um, and if, he, if he's, um, Still in good nick then, which hopefully he will be. I, I think there's every chance that we will supplement him and take him over there. It's very much regarded as a wide open gold cup this year. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, if you look at the, the horses from last year, uh, Lord Windermere and on his own, they were in the Hennessy and they were well beaten. Um, Lord Windermere probably com comes on for Cheltenham, but um, I think it is open and, and some of the novices from last year, Carlingford Lock and Fox Rock were both novices last year and they seem to have stepped up into grade one company. Um, and uh, I think seven-year-olds, Fox Rock is a seven-year-old, they, they, they have a very good record in the Gold Cup. Um, so, um, as you say, it's very open and I think he'll be, um, he'll be very competitive if he, if he turns up. Well, Barry, you may have relinquished your license to ride in races, but that doesn't stop you getting up in the saddle, which you do here 
aboard, I presume, many different horses here at Allens. Mm. Yeah, try and ride out um, most days here and keep keep my hand in. Um, it's always good to get a feel for the the horses. It's it's um, so you know yourself when you're when you're sitting on top of them, you pick up things that you won't from the ground. So um, no, it's enjoyable to do that. And Gwen Silly Burbass is obviously the one going to Cheltenham, but but the other ones in here, they're the, they're the future, they're the dream, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of nice young horses here. They're mainly four and five year olds. Um, we've had probably six or seven of them have run so far um, and we'll have a nice bunch of them for next autumn so um, yeah it's it's uh, as you know it's, it's 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 as you say it's the future it's um, nice to have these nice young national hunt horses coming through and you got Alan here a few years ago to, to really bring your young stock on and then bring them to the race course as well yeah well it's really only in the last um, 12 months um, we've put this operation together and it's it's still in its infancy really um, we put a gallop in across the road and uh, we've just been taking things nice and slowly and, and uh, we'll have a few to run over the summer and uh, I think it probably won't be next autumn until we get properly up and running. Mm -hmm.